Clock in, clock in. Black guy that just walked in. Hey, trying to play with me? They don't know no better. Nah. Me and God go together till I saw the pepper. Yeah. He be quick to pull up for me. I'm talking about any weather. Yeah. All I did was say a prayer. Now my problem settled. And your partner say he rhyme, but he really lying. Real. They the reason people dying. People's mamas crying. Real. You ain't want to do the time. Why you did the crime? Watch how you be left with scars. Team Black got a stun up, man. Yo. All right, y'all. Right now, we got another prophetic video, man, of Mrs. Faith Jarman. You feel me? She got a story to tell. And y'all know we gonna listen. You hear me? Hey everybody, what's up? This is Faith. I wanna do a quick video about my life after following certain leaders on YouTube who only talk about witchcraft. Certain, a certain leader in particular, and some of you might know who I'm talking about, I don't necessarily want to call his name because I'm not trying to be petty and, and I'm not trying to be deceitful, but I do want to share how I don't follow this leader anymore and how my life has changed. And so my, my, um, advice to anybody who sees this is please stop listening to these pastors on youtube who are only talking about witchcraft who are always putting that spirit of fear on you to make you think that somehow you got a generational curse in your bloodline and this is why you don't have a b and c because i followed a pastor on youtube very closely and i mean was just absolutely um, head over heels in love with the teachings of this pastor that I told anybody about them and I also wrote about this person in my book but at the end of the day this person this person just put it this way I stopped following them last year and by January as soon as January kicked around in my life I saw relationships that were demonic hmm. change like that. You hear me? I saw a, I saw a relative who did practice witchcraft change like huh. that. You hear me? When I stopped following certain leaders and one leader in particular. So my advice to you is that you stop following these people so closely because at the end of the day, it's them thinking about, they're not necessarily thinking about your soul as they thinking about gold you hear me? period um the more you are in bondage the more prosperous they can become and you would think that that they mean what they're doing but there's really some deception in it because they are trying to get notoriety or they're trying and they say they're not trying to and the very ones saying they're not trying to do it are the ones doing it so just be mindful. And also, whenever you dream about your a house in the past, that is not necessarily the spirit of backwardness. Because I was dreaming about my childhood home. And what God was showing me was that he wanted me to go home to my family and be reconciled to them hmm. so that he could thrust me into my destiny. And hmm. that's exactly what happened to me. A lot of times I was rebuking these dreams that God was giving me about my past about my childhood and what God was trying to get me to do was heal from the pain that I went through in my childhood and forgive those relatives forgiveness and when I did forgive those relatives that's when the healing took place in everybody and guess what those generational curses have been broken yes, and it broke when I repented to God but when I also repented to those family members and released them from the bondage that I placed them in from the past when I was a child, when I didn't know any better. Case in point, I went through stuff with my mom in the past, but last year when my father passed away and when I stopped following this leader's ministry, by January, my, my family was reconciled. My father repented before he passed away and got saved. My 
mother repented and she's still here and God is just moving in our lives. But I had to go back you hear to me? that family so I could be reconciled to you them hear me? and ultimately win souls to Christ that were in my family that were also in bondage. But if I had continued to listen to the teachings of this prominent leader that I looked so highly up to, then I would still be stuck in bondage and nothing to show for it. So and when I say nothing to show for it, no family reunions with memories, no, um, no conversations with families because I had cut them off. And you know, that's it. So I just want to encourage anybody, please stop listening to all these pe preachers on YouTube and any other platform that are only talking about witchcraft, yo, because that's them. That's them trying to capitalize off of your emotions so they can continue to keep you in bondage and you be you be stuck. That's right. You no, know, take it with a grain of salt. Listen to what they say and then go back to God's word where you can see him speaking for himself in his own word and get delivered and set free. Nah, for Don't real. Don't ever let these people replace God's word because they got they know something that you don't know. Uh-uh. God put that word out there for everybody to know what he said. You hear me? He, he don't need nobody's help in, you know, interpreting his word. That's what the Holy Ghost is there for. He's a teacher, okay? And he brings things to your remembrance, which goes back to the dream. If you're dreaming about your house, your childhood house, it is not necessarily the spirit of backwardness as it is God trying to tell you to go back it's and be reconciled sign. to those people. Let's do it. All right, I pray this be a blessing to anybody who sees it. God bless. All right, y'all, I want y'all to know, Everything that y'all heard this beautiful woman just say is absolutely right. Sometimes you got to watch who is teaching you. Sometimes you can't listen to everything you're hearing. There's even a verse that literally tells you. Jeremiah 23, 16. Thus says the Lord of hosts, do not listen to the words of the prophets who are prophesying to you. They are leading you into fertility. They speak a vision of their own imagination, not from the mouth of the Lord. Which being said, a leader or whoever you see as your leader definitely should not be instilling fear in you and telling you what's happening to you is this. The only reason a prophet should even be doing their job is to explain their path, their journey, and Everybody has their own journey, but the only thing the prophet speaking on their journey could do is enlighten you and make you actually open your eyes for yourself because the Holy Spirit will get a hold of you personally. You dig what I'm saying? You may have a whole different journey. And the last thing anybody who is leading you would want you to do is say, hey, the reason why you're going through this is this. Now you're looking at everything around your life and thinking, like this young woman thought in her situation, damn, my family's against me. But in all reality, she needed to be with her family so they can heal together. Sometimes you come from your family for a reason. And the main thing the enemy would do, no matter who it may look like, it may look like the pastor, it may look like anybody. Their number one goal to do is to conquer you. And by conquering you, is instilling fear inside of you. And once they instill fear inside of you, they can literally move you. You dig what I'm saying? And the only thing that'll keep you alive is literally the Holy Spirit. You dig what I'm saying? And hopefully, one of them days, you catch on and actually realize, I am being tricked. I am being finessed to run away from what really matters. And her saying she had a dream about her old house, y'all, use that into consideration. Fear does not exist. Anybody who is telling you to be scared of something and watch out for something and watch out for this and watch out for that, they're obviously not leading you down the right path. They should only be telling you how they overcame every situation they were scared of. Not tell you, hey, this is happening to you because of this. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment below. Love. Y'all be blessed.